something I heard during worship tonight was we will be able to worship Jesus for eternity. The one thing that, that we won't be able to do in eternity is preach the gospel, is share our testimony, is be the light in the darkness. Because when we get to heaven, it's going to be pure light. There's no shadow of turning with God. We'll worship him and we will praise him and we will bow down. We will cast our crowns at his feet. But the one thing that we can do while we're here is like Jamie said, we can leave the comfort of the church and actually be the church. And everybody, most Christians want to do it. They just don't know how. Evangelism looks like something. It's, it's practical. It's, there's a lot of practical things and we can hear a, a million evangelism messages but it's actually the Lord's been showing me I've, I've been doing evangelism for 13 years in the city and the Lord is showing me that it's actually in the going that we're going to be taught it's, it's in the, the messing up it's in the, it's in the fumbling it's in going God this is awkward I don't know what I'm doing but I love you and you changed my life and I can't hold it back I can't hold you back. You said that I can raise the dead, I can cleanse a leper, I can preach the gospel, and it's the gospel that's the power of God unto salvation. How do I do this? It looks like something. It looks like going, God, I'm going to give you an hour of my time. I don't feel like it. I'm tired. The enemy's going to make sure you don't feel like it. But that's why the righteous live by faith. And it's it's going, God, I'm going to come on outreach. I know I'm not gonna be thrown under the bus, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come afraid. I've been doing it for 13 years and I still feel intimidation going. But but we've seen 15 people born again this year. We've seen healings, we've seen people set free, we've seen so much. Just last night we went out and Jamie and Dave were praying for us. And and Jamie or Dave said, the Lord told me that when we were praying that you're actually going to be surprised at how open the encounters are tonight. And just one testimony was we went into a restaurant and every one of you carries the presence of God. It's not what only we say, but it's what we carry. And we just went into this restaurant and, and shared with a man. He was Hindu. And he said, I asked, have you ever heard about Jesus? Have you ever heard the gospel? And he said, I've never, I've never heard the gospel. I've never heard the good news. And we asked him, my husband, can we share with you? Because he's, there's only one way we carry the answer is Jesus. He's the only way. He's the only way. We talk to Muslims and agnostics and atheists and every single one of those people were open. And I'm telling you, Jesus said the harvest is ripe. Even in this city, even in Texas, everywhere that we go, the harvest is ripe. And that Hindu man got born again last night. <laughs> Praise God. He asked Jesus to come in and he said, I'm feeling. I said, I always ask, how do you feel? And, and he said, I feel this thing coming on the inside of me out. And I feel so, I don't know what the word was, but I feel this thing coming out of me. And I think demons left when Jesus comes in. Things leave when Jesus comes in. And as we shared with him, there was a girl that came in with a mini skirt and skull earrings. And I was intimidated to talk to her. She was swearing. And I'm like, God. But we carry him. We carry his presence. And she starts swearing. We're talking about my dog. And I'm like, God, I can't do this. I need you to open the door. I'm not the mighty evangelist. I'm I'm someone who's intimidated, but she needs to know. She needs to know. And then she said, my son, I'm out tonight to party. I'm here to have fun with my son. He's got ADHD. He's got autism. And my heart broke. And I'm like, God, how can I share with her? And then I said, I want you to know I'm a Christian. And God healed me of a blood disease. She said, I have leukemia. I have leukemia in my blood. And the, her friend goes, how did you know that? And I didn't know. I just was compelled. Every one of us has the love of God that's been shed abroad in our heart through the Holy Spirit. 
We don't need to know. We can be intimidated, but all we have to have is a heart posture that I, I want to reach them. In his presence, I promise, if you posture your heart to look for, the Bible says, make the most of every opportunity for the days are evil. He will open the door. His presence in you, what the Lord's done in your life will open the door. And I got to pray for her. And she got up, she gave me the biggest hug, and, and that man being born again was the greatest miracle of all, but being able to talk to her, because God wants to reach people more than we do, more than the most mighty evangelists. God wants to reach them, and they're eternal beings, and it, it starts from a place of practice and coming on outreach, and this lifestyle comes from a place of going, okay, God, I don't feel like going when we come together and we, we receive from each other and we, we we all glean off of each other and we go together there's something anointed about that we all want the lifestyle but it starts with practically going I'm going to show up I'm going to learn, I'm going to humble myself and I'm going to run with people who are running and so just wanted to encourage you that God is moving just last year we saw 70 people get born again just last year the harvest is truly right but we have to learn and learn tools from the holy ghost and that's in the going you will be amazed how much god wants to flow through you